Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video uh, from Connecticut today. And I want to make a video about trying to help out other folks who have Golan Telecom and you've paid for their data abroad service. It's included in the 100 shekel plan. Now, this is actually kind of a weird place to make this video because I'm in a basement, hence I actually don't have data, as you can see, but uh, I do have data. My data is working just fine. Um, but I spent an hour on the phone with Golan the other day trying to diagnose why my data was not working and they did not succeed in fixing the issue. I succeeded by changing a bunch of settings on my phone myself. And in this video, I want to show you what those are. So if you're having data problems, here are a few things to check for Android. Now, disclaimer two, clearly I don't work for Golan. This is not the official Golan uh, support documentation or anything like that. Use these steps at your own discretion. Okay, in your Android settings, you're gonna have SIM cards and mobile networks and Here's just the first thing to check out if you're having problems with data. I have two SIM cards in this phone and uh, a business and a personal line and my 100 shackle plans on the personal line. So you have an option here for data SIM. So just make sure that um, your data SIM is, if you have two SIM cards, that it's set to whatever uh, SIM you have data on. If I scroll down a bit, there is an advanced settings page here and there is now something called data roaming has appeared, you may see. So in data roaming, you have options for the first setting here is setting international roaming. And there's a toggle here between always for exceptions only and never. Clearly, if your international roaming is set to never, you're not going to be able to access data when you're roaming. So make sure that is either set to exceptions always or always. I recommend going for always, even though it may incur data. You may use up your data allocation very quickly through background, act, background app usage. Just be warned. So choose that according to your uh, risk limit, let's say. So then there's also a data limit cap. Make sure you don't have that activated because again, if that is activated and you've limited your data to, let's say, you know, 100 megabytes a day, then it's probably going to cut off really quickly. So make sure that's not on. That's all there is to do really in the phone menu. Um, you don't need to configure the APN as a, as to the best of my knowledge, just to get the uh, data. Now, the chokehold for me, or the problem, was in this thing called the SIM toolkit. Each phone's going to have one, and this is kind of a second menu for your SIM options. Now, coming back to the thing, I have two options, I guess, because I have two SIMs. You, pro most people probably, I think, only have one SIM card. In roaming services, there is going to be select mode. I had to move it to manual. This is where this is why it wasn't working for me. And within manual, you have national and international, and I chose national. I tried all the other options. Golan support literature or documentation says, firstly, do this, get on the network. Then after it's on the network, you want to go back to automatic. I'm not sure if that's necessary. I have it now set to manual, select mode, manual. There supports documentation for iPhone and Android say, say different things. One says international, one says national. And for me, it was national. And then after I changed over that setting, I refreshed my device, uh, rebooted it, and that fixed the problem. When it was rebooted, I was able to access the data I had paid for again. So that's the end of my saga. Um, again, not Golan support steps, but if that works for you, I hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching. More videos will be, as always, coming soon.